All right, guys, welcome back. And why I rolled the dice on this Tom Brady rookie card. All right, YouTube fam. So I bought some puck lights recently. I wanted to show, show you guys these before I uh, show you the card. So these lights are really cool because if I have background light behind me, oops, this, this lighting setup works actually pretty nicely because it doesn't really allow much glare on these cards. So I really like it. Now, let me turn off the light behind me. Okay, so these are just puck lights I bought on Amazon. The light's off bar behind me. You can see how it's really, it's pretty dark. But they look pretty clean, um, especially with just this light on right now. But they also look good with the main light behind me on in this setting. I'll show you another setting. It does not look good with the camera, but if it's just me in the room... The setting looks good, so I'll go back to the good setting with the camera. So this is like a yellow. But anyways, I just want to share one up, one pickup. See that foil back there? It looks really nice, right? The thing I love about the foil card I got, guys, is there's the base, and then there's the foil. It's a PSA 8, and it's just cool to see the two side by side. It's like the metal with the emerald, right? <clears throat> I think that uh, looks cool. I like the this here, the three-piece. They're all pretty much the same card, just short print, you know, uh, green and blue. And then... All right, guys, so those this lighting setup is just going to be coming handy for... If you have, like, um, a Billy bookcase like this, I'm going to turn the lights off. You can see it's a little darker now. One more time, just from a distance, you can see how much clearer it is with them. And I don't have my contact center glasses right now, so I will say, you know... If you want to showcase some pieces in your own personal collection or something, it's 40 bucks. Little remote comes with six pucks. All right, let me grab this uh, Grail rookie that we have. All right, guys. So I rolled the dice on this Tom Brady rookie card. Playoff momentum. It is authentic. But let's talk about this card. But first, let's take a look at. It. So this is the fourth shelf I wasn't showing you guys, but we'll get the light on here. We'll go take a closer look. I'm going to leave this card solo because I do love this card. It's actually got a red. It looks black, but it's actually blue, and that's a foil. It's authentic. It's numbered to 750, full Patriots uniform. Now, let me see if I can get a better look for you guys. See, if you look at the right angle, that red really pops. You can start to see the blue. Yep, that's there you go. You see the blue? It's not black. And then that silver foil is just stunning. At Brady Patriots Uni. Now, got to give a shout out to Power Wheels. Power Wheels kind of, well, he actually got me onto this card at first. He talked about it in his collection. He has a one that's graded, but he was like number to 750, full Patriots uniform. And I was like, you know what? I forgot about this card. And then all of a sudden, I start doing some research into this card, and there's a unique, um, or about this card to be honest with you and i'm gonna ask for your guys opinion because there's some things i read about and i don't know what's true and what's false but uh let me give you one last look Six seventy-seven to 750 it is a stunner okay so he'll be hanging out with that hall of fame bourbon and Probably for a long, long time. Probably be sitting in the collection for 10 years, maybe a couple of decades. Who knows? All right, so why this card? Why, why did I roll the dice on this one? Outside of the obvious, it's got the same pose as the contender. Full Patriots uniform. Shout out to Splendid uh, Sports Cards because he, he pointed that out to me. And I was like, oh, it is. It looks like the same pose. Um, outside of the basics, right? Patriots uniform, 750 cool eye appeal especially for a car 2000 i think it's probably my favorite even beats the showcase and the short print victory right next to it so that card down there is now my favorite card in the collection all right so what was so unique about this card is i started doing some research and reading online and people were like well you know it's factory short it's a cut factory short and i'm like what well, then I started reading like it was a box topper 
for some of the cases. There's 750. And then I read people who were buying the card, getting it graded early on, were getting nice grades. And then all of a sudden, I don't know how many years ago, there was a guy on eBay. He was like, I had an 8.5 BGS. We cracked it. We tried to get resubmitted because we thought it was better. It came back authentic. The factory cut cards, I guess, on the top right, they're all really short. That one size doesn't meet. Now, granted, we don't really know if somebody tampered with it, right? I, don't, I wouldn't hope they wouldn't. But reality is, if a lot of these cards now are coming up like that, if you already have one that's in a high grade, it may be extremely difficult to even get that card raw and submitted and get it even graded outside of an authentic. And the reason I say that is, if you're submitting raw playoff momentum Tom Brady rookie cards like that, I mean, you may say this card looks amazing, but then they're like, oh, well, it doesn't fit the re requirements. So all those people who already have it slabbed, eight, seven, eight, nine, whatever, you may be very careful about taking that card out and trying to resubmit it. I Me mean, personally, I've never cracked a card. I don't know much about even, I've never even submitted a card to PZSA or SGC or Beckett. I'd love to learn at some point how to do that. Now let's talk price. I paid $9.15 out the door. I know it's kind of a lot. It's an authentic, but in 20 years, I don't think it's going to matter. In 10 years, I don't think it'll matter. This is what I think is going to happen. I think people look at that card. They see, oh, wow, it looks great. $7.50, incredible for a GOAT. Then I think what's going to come down to play is people are going to say, authentic is going to be... Like right now, the last sale before mine was like fifteen fifty for an authentic. I got this one for nine fifteen out the door. The guy had it listed for eleven ninety nine, twelve hundred. Took him about a month and a half. He finally dropped eight twenty four plus twenty shipping, so I paid eight forty tax. So I was in nine fifteen with shipping. Took only ten days for the eBay authentication process. It only takes a couple weeks, so maybe because it's authentic, they got it here quickly. I don't know. Now, with that being said, guys, this is uh. This is what's just, it's just interesting card, right? You get all these people saying they had it graded, now they can't get it graded higher. So if you already have one, don't crack it. You might be sitting on something nice. Prices. Fanatics had an 8.5 recently sell for like three grand. There's a seven on eBay. I just put a thousand bid. I'm, I'm going to lose that. It's already past that. It's a seven. This is an authentic comic book perspective i use sometimes if you have an amazing spider-man you're just trying to get one and you love it you don't really care about the grade as much just because you want to own one that may be the case with that brady rookie in 10 15 years people are like i'll pay x amount of dollars i just love that card i've always wanted it i don't care it's authentic it's real i'm happy you know what i mean i'm happy so that's how i i look at it from that point of view i don't really have any plans to sell it anytime soon i just love that i can keep building that brady collection the reason why it wasn't on my top five list if you haven't seen my last video i mentioned my top five brady's i'm in the hunt for still i didn't have it on there and i'll tell you why real quick i wasn't sure if i wanted to buy an authentic card because i'm like ah but then i read about that one i'm like i'm gonna roll the dice on this tom brady rookie and that's why i did now since i'm rolling the dice on this one and i said you know what Authentic, under a thousand bucks. Average sale price fifteen fifty for authentic. There's guys who have that card cracked out of their case. I'm sure they because they got an authentic. They got a list for eleven thousand dollars. I'm like, listen, if at some point that card, if it's worth more money raw than it is in the authentic case, who knows, right? Who knows? But it sounds like it could be. I'm just saying. I noticed a couple things. I had some conversations with people over uh, eBay. I read about it. If you guys can set the record straight, let me know if you know anything about that playoff momentum with the box toppers, the factory cut short. Um, shout out to Power Wheels because he talked highly on that card. I think it was his favorite. Shout out to Kurt's Card Care. I watched him do a cleaning of that card. The card was so stunning in person. I know it's in the SGC slab and the foil really does pop for 2000 looks great. Shout out to Splendid Sports Cards. He's always supportive and answers a lot of my uh, questions. 
And shout out to the 047 Sports TCG Cards. Hopefully I said that right. It's a long name. The 047 Sports TCG Sports Cards. Anyways, he's also really savvy, giving me a lot of ideas. I really like the thing he's been working on. If you guys go check out his channel, he's been talking about Brady Super Bowl tickets. I'm like, it's really cool because you did all seven of those like on a shelf in your room and he's been getting them graded. Go check out his channel too. He's got some cool content. All these people really give me ideas and stuff too. So, and I think that's the cool thing about this community. And for me, this stuff has only came in the last year. I've always had lots of collections and stuff, as you could tell, but uh, the Brady market's kind of been my thing lately, especially the rookie. But I'm having fun with it, guys. So if you're new here, consider checking out some of my content. Do me a favor. Just comment below. Let me know what you think about the playoff momentum rookie. 750 serial number, full Patriots uniform. Same pose as the uh, contenders. Really kind of interesting card when you think about those other higher-end Brady cards and like how much different of price they are. And this one's also serial numbered where some of those contenders... I'm wondering what the pop report was of those because those can you can't even find those for like 10 grand under 10 grand and then like sp authentic it's like 1250 and they're like seven eight grand now i know granted this is authentic but still it's just like a 750 it's going to be in like five years ten years i guarantee you there's going to be some shifts in the market where people are going to be like collectors might i still think that showcase people are going to go crazy for the showcase because i always love that card but anyways i'm rambling Talk soon. This is the card I rolled the dice on. I'm out.